Hi everyone and welcome. So today, Raymondo Family Adventures is going to take you for a walk around this magnificent campsite here in the Vaughan D. Uh, I will try and show you everything, so it's a long upload, I do appreciate that. But I'm going to try and walk you around most of the park and show you the area where we stayed, down at Kelly, and then walk you around the main part of the site showing you the entertainment and bar area, uh, show you where the premium lodges are, down to the beach, and then round to the camping area. So uh, I do appreciate it's a long one, uh, so I hope you stick with me. Please give it a like and share it out with your friends. If you're thinking about coming here, it's a fantastic site. It's quite small and compact, but that's good for the children. It means that you can give them a lot more freedom. And I highly recommend this site. This will be our fourth time here. And we're going back again next year. So enjoy it, everyone. I have lots of cuts and edits. And uh, yeah, just uh, hope you enjoy it. Thank you. And one last thing, everyone, before we get on with the video, um, I'd massively appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel. I get a lot of people who view my walk arounds or campsites and they view it and then they leave and never think to subscribe to the channel but every subscription to the channel actually helps a lot and also if you would give it a like that would be amazing and um, yeah so let's get on with it guys thank you very much and I hope you enjoy it and I hope it's slightly insightful uh, and helps you make a decision whether this is the site you want to go to um, plenty more coming from this area also uh, showing you a few walks and a few, a few areas and the beach that is recommended and you get a free coach to get to from here and obviously also the City of Sables as well. So yeah, stick around guys, I hope you enjoy it, please remember to subscribe and let's get on with it, thank you. So we're going to start this walk down at the bottom end, so this is where you would come to see Kelly if you put the camp hotel. And this is where the child's, um, the small child's bounce castle is. I'll take you around and show you the little child's area, little play area for the kids. And you've got toilets just in there, which works out perfectly for them. Got to do this before this area gets busy, because this area does get busy. And then here you have the, the bigger bouncy castle. A few things for the kids to enjoy around here. So I'm going to walk you up to the open start area I'm going to show you the courts up here so this is where the kids all play football and basketball this area here this is where you can get your bicycle rentals different sizes for the kids and adults So this is your outdoor pool area and slides, as you can see, good fun for the kids, you've got an indoor swimming pool over there, and the little kids areas over this side here. I'll try and show you that area a bit better. There's a little kids splash area and if you can see in the distance you've got the slide as well, indoor slides for the kids. So you've got indoor slides in there, that's where the big bucket is for the kids to get wet. 
a little splash zone there and then the pool's there there is a gate there I'm not sure if that's for disabled access or not but if you are disabled and you are coming in you would have to go through that gate there that's usually full of water I'm guessing if you're disabled you go through that gate there So this is the bar area. There's the bar there and the takeaway service. And they'll have bands set up there normally. These guys are preparing for a run, they're doing a run. And that's the outdoor stage that they have here, which is brilliant. Over this side is where you have the restaurant. Restaurant area. I'll show you the shop quickly. I'll move on. This is where the restaurant is. <coughs> and over here is where you have your shop, which says fresh baguettes, pastries, you name it, they've got it. Okay, so I'm not going to go into the shop, not just yet anyway, I'll show you inside the little bar area. It's the idea of the prices, not the cheapest beer in here to be honest, but it's okay. Sports area. I'll show you the restaurant a bit better from around this side. And then you've got three pool tables here. 
Is that sure the four cubes are on it? So this is the reception, so when you very first come in you'll come down through this roundabout, straight down here, recycling's over there, and this is the way you would come in. And here comes Lewis on his bike. Slight apologies for the quality here, everyone, um, but I had a problem with the download of the file, so I've had to stream it and then record the um, stream. So it's just a small section. This is the kids' area where the kids' clubs are and the little muga for the children. So, yeah, the kids' clubs are all around this area. Although my kids never went to the kids' club, but they had no problems at all making friends. There's lots of English and Irish people here. So yeah, no problems at all in that respect. So if I just quickly take you down and show you the premium lodges. For those of you thinking about booking premium. These are some of the colour connections, not all though. But definitely some. I'm certainly going to take you down to the bottom and show you the the premium area. So the premium area is around here. As you can see, there's no vehicles allowed. It's like the bigger caravans. It's like the bigger mobile homes. There's quite a few of them dotted around. As you can see. Nice little wooded area. See for your kids to play around this little zone. So we'll walk around, I'll show you the new premium area. So we'll go this way. So this is the, <clears throat> this is all premium. Okay. These are the new premium lodges that they put in this year. Well, not this year. I think they've been here two years, I think. Or well, since just before COVID. If you want to go to the beach, you go down this path here. There's a gate with the beach access code. So just round the corner up there is Leila Terrell's gate that you can then get access from. And this is the beach where you can go rock balling. Um, I wouldn't swim in there personally, people do, but I wouldn't. But you can do rock balling here. And that's what we're going to try and do now. Use and then you can access the beach, which is absolutely fantastic for um, 
I'm taking the kids down and rock pooling. I'm not so sure about swimming, but if you wanted to go swimming, you can get the, the, the bus to the uh, beach, which is just a few miles away. got any more questions don't be afraid to ask I will try and answer them the best I can this is my fourth time at being here so I can answer the questions as you can see these are a lot more compact and pushed together um, you do get a lot of children running up and come up and down here on bikes and scooters. So we're coming back up to the start area. As you can see, this is the main area you come down, you drive down, and now we're back at Kelly. Now you may have noticed there was no camper vans or tents or anything like that that's because they are down at the other side of the park so these are all the Kelly caravans that are lined up along here <coughs> and they go the full length of this road now the Kelly ones are mostly on the right hand side going all the way down you've got no one on the opposite side of you because it's private land so you do get a lot of privacy on the right hand side there uh, the ones on the left here they're all yellow village caravans so we're going to go down to the bottom of this area now and show you the camping area and that will end the upload so let's pop my walk around this side you can see some of the pictures you can see they're quite a decent size you have got caravans mixed in with them. <coughs> Dotted around as you can see. Do you have more caravans along here? So this is on the second part of the site. So this is the bottom end, sanitation block two. As I want to walk up to where sanitation block three is, I'll show you from there, the other section. Hopefully it'll give you some sort of idea. If you're thinking about booking one of these blocks. So if you're a little bit slower on the map, you see sanitation block three is over there. They all come with a lot of them, the premium ones come with picnic tables. As you can see, it can be a decent size. And then there are some smaller pictures. You can see that's one with a picnic table there. I'm not sure you fit any people in the actual block. I'm trying to be careful with my filming. Oh, that's not normal there. So yeah, this is where I was on, in a circle basically. And at time this is the buzz of activity around here.
See, uh, not bad size pictures at all. Everyone's really friendly and happy around here. All over that tree in there. And then you've got, um, I'll just take you around a circle, and you've got sanitation block through there. And straight out of here, it would lead you back to the swimming pool area. There's two ways into some pool complex. Is this is this rear way in? And then you've got the front entrance. You can get access which is near the stage. So that's it everyone. That's the whole well, three quarters of the tour of the park done. I hope it's helped you make a decision on whether to stay at this site or not. Thank you very much, and we'll see you later. Thank you, everyone. Bye. So, yeah, the only place I didn't record in this upload was the swimming pool uh, with people in it and the sun lounge, uh, sunbathing area, oh, for obvious reasons. It's privacy. So, uh, but there is footage of that online. You can find it without a problem so um but yeah i hope it's given you some sort of uh idea of what the campsite's like if you've got any questions then just pop it below and i'll try and answer the best i can and thank you very much for watching this upload and please stick around uh, because there's plenty more coming from this area thank you and goodbye